Um, so ladies and gentlemen, looking at a problem like this, we, we see that we have e to the 2x, and we have an e to the x. And we can't just solve it like, we don't, well, like we've used our um, common methods. Our common methods was you know, isolate, isolate the e or take the log of both sides or anything we need to do. This is going to be a little bit different. We see that we have two versions of our e to the x. Um, now, one thing I look at this is I do kind of notice this does kind of look like a little bit of a quadratic, kind of something like this. x squared minus 4x minus 5. <coughs> kind of similar to that. And whenever I get something that looks like something similar to a quadratic, a lot of times I'll do that to say, you know, can I rewrite this? Can I factor this? Well, yeah, you can factor this one. That's going to be x uh, minus uh, 5 times x plus 1. Right? The factored form of that? Everybody agree with me? OK. So now we got to see, well, is it even possible then to do that, the same thing? So let's go and look at it. What would I have to have? I can't have if I had e to the x times e to the x. Well, what is e? Remember, if I have x squared times x squared, that equals to x times 2 plus 2, right? So if I did e to the x times e to the x, that equals e to the x plus x, which equals e to the 2x. So yes, actually multiplying e to the x times e to the x gives me e to the 2x. So therefore, then I can just use these, minus 5, minus 1. And if you guys were to multiply these, e to the x times negative 5 is negative 5ex. e to the x, oh, that's plus 1, right? e to the x times plus 1 is going to be plus e to the x. Add them up, you get negative 4 e to the x. Now I can apply the zero product property. So I can say e to the x minus 5 equals 0, e to the x plus 1 equals 0. To solve, we write 5, 5. So I say e to the x equals 5. e to the x equals negative 1. Can I erase this over here? So now, on our last thing to go ahead and solve this, remember, we have to solve for x. We have to get solve for x. So the way that we can get rid of this e is we could convert this to logarithmic form, or we could also just take the ln of both sides. Right? Remember when you take the ln of e raised to the x? That just eliminates, and now we're just left with x equals ln of 5. x equals ln of negative 1. Now, I do not have my calculator yeah. with me, but I'll borrow. Yeah, I'll get you in just a second. So we have ln of 5, so I just do ln of 5, and that's 1.61. I'll just round it. And then we notice ln of negative 1. Can we take the natural logarithm of a negative number? And that's can do that. Then. OK, so that's going to be our only answer for that problem. OK, and that's how you complete that. OK, I think I already graded that for you guys, so you're good.